the royal highnesses that had the ergots of my boss seated. And then he invited me to come and sit down. No, I don't want to commit you know, the unthinkable. So I just said, okay, let me sit down there and uh, you know, just enjoy and learn. And I've done a lot of that today. And I think we all deserve to give ourselves a round of applause. Yes, I have a good will message here, but I'll also make a clarification because I've had the banter about, oh, maintain your name, pay on your name, and all of that. And, uh, but I also like to mention the fact that Papa Tudor Raji Fashalai was very, very, very committed to scholarship, to research, and to documentation. And so he encouraged members of his cabinet, members of his team, commissioners, pastors, and all of that, to write their experience because it will serve our state and our country well. So, um, Dr. Fembelou is very much on track by writing and also being devoted to medicine. And so, I'd like to say that we have the same time with uh, Spain, and I think sometime in another hour too, uh, Mr. Fashola SCA will be speaking at the 7th Congress of uh, Architecture, and that's why he's unable to be here. And uh, he, he, he took a commitment and kept reminding me who is representing me at the launch of the book of Dr. Lugine. And he says something to the fact that um, Mr. Fashola recognizes the distinguished service of Dr. Lubini, as indeed many of you who are seated here today. So that said, I'll just quickly go, I'll just tiptoe through uh, some of the high lights of his uh, good news message. So it's distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it will be the immense pleasure that I accepted to be at this event today as a special guest of honor. My delight is prepared on the fact that I see this as a good opportunity to give honor to whom honor is due. And Dr. Femi Ulubile, by all standards, deserves all of our accolades and honor. But there are other equally important reasons why I felt this invitation must be honored. First of all, Dr. Ulubile had a truly illustrious public service career, during which he served, among others, as the Chief Medical Director of the Labor State Teaching Hospital, Lassen, and Permanent Secretary, Labor State Ministry of Health. <coughs> and well beyond life as a public servant, Dr. Olubile has continued to apply himself diligently, both in the areas of his specialty mental health, and quite fascinatingly, as an author of six books, a newspaper columnist, and leading researcher to the service of humanity. It never ceases to amaze me how Dr. Lubile balances this tasking engagement, as indeed many of the speakers here today are pointing out. But most importantly, I cannot forget the service service rendered by him in documenting the most modest endeavors of our team between 2007 and 2015. If you have read or heard about the nine booklets that made up the Lagos State Food Factory series, and indeed I, 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 I stumbled upon a copy, you know, while preparing for this. Now, if, if you have read or heard about those booklets that made up the Lagos State Food Factory series, covering the grading program, waste management, the containment of Ebola, the airport project, and so on and so on, all those things that were credited to the administration. Then, you have Dr. Lubile to thank for the diligence in coordinating and ensuring that we were able to, and I'll put the forward the road to, to, to this booklet, to document the road we traveled, 
to record our understanding of the problem we face, the solutions we adopted, the errors we made, and the successes we achieved. Permit me to quote this excerpt from the foreword again. Each of these series was documented by Lagos State public servants in the ministries, departments, or agencies of government where the solutions were developed from. It was these same public servants who were involved in the execution of the various initiatives. And our KPSC had, uh, had acknowledged that earlier today. Now, this is it. The editorial work was entrusted to a public servant, Dr. Fermi Olubile, who I must say took on the responsibility with a lot of fervor and dedication. Now, uh, just as an aside, when the, the former MD and a great senior in the journalism profession was talking repeatedly about hope, if he does this, this is the prescription, this. And I then remember that, oh, could the thought of what would happen to me if Dr. Olubile doesn't answer my frequent question for one soft copy or PDF copy of this or that, as soon as BRM requests for it, will it have, will it have compared it to be answering me? I don't know. Well, on the offering from the well home of Dr. Olubile, which we are unveiling today, I would only say that we should all look forward to find a copy of the untold story of a thoroughly remarkable woman, Chief Alemotu Benegura. So what your appetite will be, and indeed the, the book reviewer has done that, Benegura is a dramatized story of a true life character who rose from humble beginnings to become the most powerful woman in Lagos. It is also the story of Lagos of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Now, our mission is done, but I cannot go without wishing Dr. Febe Olubile more vitality, wisdom, and knowledge to continue to function and affect us and future generations positively. I thank you all for your kind attention.